Hey, this is Pat Smaji. Welcome to part one of my instructional video series available only right here at On The Pegs. I'm here with my wife Hannah today and we're going to teach you a little bit about walking and riding a section. Let's go! The first thing you want to do when you get into a section is look for your gates. I have a section set up here with blue gates for me and white gates for her, so we're going to start off walking through her section. There are two lines here, one going straight out and then turning around the rock, the other cutting it real close to the ribbon. Since that one isn't tied very well, it wouldn't be the best option. Anytime you can avoid getting close to the ribbon, it's a good idea to take the alternate line. Next we have a loose corner into a slippery hill, so you're going to want to come as far outside as you can, come all the way out to the ribbon here to use as much of the space of the section as you possibly can, and then start your corner. And you want to be looking up and smooth acceleration through here. Anytime you're walking a section and it's loose like this, it's a good idea to kick some of these loose rocks out of the way. As long as you don't get yelled at, you should be good and that'll just guarantee you a nice clean line. Another thing to do is to wait and not be the first rider through the section, because a lot of times as people ride it, it'll kick some of this loose stuff up, make a rut, and clean it out for better traction. So that's something to think about if you're not sure on a line. Here we have another tricky rock corner with alternate lines. One option would be to come way outside here in the loose rocks on the flat ground, but then you're turning the wrong direction and you have more of a turn to do in your second corner. So the better option would actually be to turn right on the rocks. So you want to come out here on top of this one, on top of that one, roll it down this, and the rear tire will just drop right inside and you'll be set up better for the next corner. Since lower level riders typically can't hop, it's all about using as much of the section as possible. Right here we have a nice open flat turn, so she's going to want to come all the way outside as far as she can, all the way out to the tape before she turns back in and looks up, looks ahead, gets ready for the next hill. It's important when you walk the section to look for things that could knock you off your line. If you get too far to the left here, you could catch a foot peg on this rock outside of the section that could throw you off and take some points. She has two options here. She could go in tight and steep or out wide and a little bit more mellow of a hill. So really, things like this, it's a lot about personal preference, picking what you're comfortable with and not following what all the other riders are doing. So you got to weigh the options, look at both, really think about which one you like more and go with it. Always look for loose sticks and things that will knock you off your line and kick them out of the way as much as you can get away with that is. If the section looks difficult for you or you're not sure on your line, it's a good idea to wait the other riders out, watch what lines they're taking, see what's working, and then decide what you want to do. Alright, coming into the section, always looking ahead nice and wide, smooth on the brakes on this gravelly loose stuff, nice wide turn, smooth power up the hill. Alright, now they're rock corner. Keep it moving, roll over the rocks, come all the way out to the tape, don't be afraid to push it if you have to, make your corner, look ahead, smooth on the power between the rocks, you're going to go outside this time, straight down to the tape, tight corner, looking out the exit, and clean. Now that she's seen me ride it a few times to see which lines I took and which ones were working, now it's up to her to decide which ones she wants to take and give it a go. On her first loop, she tried to come outside, and this turn ended up being too tight. She had to take some dabs to move the front end over. So it's a good idea. Anytime you have a mistake on the first loop, come back on your second loop ride and walk the section again. Look at where you made the mistake and see what you can do to minimize that for the next loops. So this time, I think she's better off coming inside. It's a little bit steeper, maybe a little more scary, but it's a lot straighter of a shot and less sharp of a turn. So we're gonna give that a try and hopefully she cleans it. This turn is a perfect example of two lines that work just as well. When I walked it, I thought this inside line across the rocks was going to set me up better for the next corner, so that's the line I chose. When she rode it, she went way out here to the nice flat area. It has some loose rocks, but she was still able to make the corner and makes the next corner. So it just shows you that it's always up to you to choose the line that you like. 
All right, now it's my turn. The first gate I see is this big log up here on kind of the side of this hill. If you look at it coming straight in through the section, it's a big angle. You're taking off of some loose ground and you'll probably slide. So you want to look for every option you can. So looking over here, I see a nice flat takeoff. Still a little bit of loose rock on top, but a lot better than taking off on that angle. So this is the line I'm going to prefer. If I'm worried about that loose rock, I can do a little bit of kicking or just wait for another rider to go. He should bl blast through it and get down to something a little more solid. You always have to look out for other riders' gates. Even though going through them might not make the section harder or easier, you'll get a five. So no matter what, look throughout the section for other riders' gates and stay clear. So this one, I have to stay tight, come back down the hill, and set up for my next obstacle. Whenever there's a big rock like this, you want to look for the best kicker. Since this is about all equally as bad of a takeoff, no matter where you hit it, you want to look a little bit closer, see if there's any smaller rocks up to the face that'll help get you to the top. Right here in the middle, I see a pretty good sized one that may or may not stay. So I might want to, if I hit this line, I want to come around the second loop and check if it's still there. But I think for the first rod, it's at least going to help me out a little bit. So that's the line I'll take. Next, there's an option here. You can drop down onto the flat one with the angled ridge or just jump across. For me, I always like to jump across whenever there's an option to save time and also to save possible chances of making a mistake when you drop down in. Sometimes you'll get a flex and get off your line. So I think the best line here is to just jump right across. Now we have to go up one more step and then drop down. We're going to be stopping on this loose gravelly ground. So whenever that's where you have to stop, you want to make sure that you land solid and don't land too harsh. So you want to roll as much as you can and slowly come to a stop. If you come to a stop very quickly, you might lose your traction on the rear tire and cause a point. So you want to stop as smooth as you can. Once I get over this rock, I see that I have to stop before this other gate so I don't get a five. So I have to turn tight and line up for this next wall. There are some options here. Hit it to the left without the kicker. Hit these kickers. They're a little bit far back and you have to hit them with a lot of speed. So I think you're better off hitting it to the left where there's this natural kicker right here that'll pop you right up. You can hit that a lot more slow and controlled than if you had to launch from further back. There's an option here to go straight off down to the flat, turn and then head out, or to actually just turn on this rock and head straight out. I always like to take the shortest line, even if it means it might be a little bit harder. If I'm confident in it, it saves me time and energy. So I always look at both, but tend to go to the quicker one. That's a clean. I hope this video helps you get some too. See you next time.